Good morning kids. I hope you are fine and safe. So students, let us continue with our chapter. Today we are going to study about the two types of movement of planets. Planets have two types of movement, rotation and revolution. Rotation. Each planet has its own axis on which it rotates. or spins two planets venus and uranus rotate in a clockwise direction that is from east to west all the other planets rotate in an anti clockwise direction revolution the planets also revolve around the sun in fixed path the path of revolution of each planet is egg shaped or elliptical and is known as its orbit each planet take a different time period to complete one rotation about its axis and one revolution around the sun our planet earth let us talk about our planet earth the earth is the fifth largest planet and the third nearest to the sun it is spherical in shape slightly flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator this shape is described as a geoid our earth is a unique planet because it is the only planet in the solar system where life is known to exist this is because the earth has all the favorable conditions required for the existence of life they are moderate temperature suitable atmosphere presence of water let us talk about the moderate temperature the earth is neither too far from the sun nor too close to it thus it is neither too hot like mercury nor too cold like neptune the moderate temperature condition on earth are favorable for plants and animal life suitable atmosphere The earth is surrounded by a blanket of air called the atmosphere. Our atmosphere has gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and ozone, all of which are necessary for plant and animal life. Presence of water. The atmosphere condition on the earth are such that there is a existence of water cycle. Due to this, water in the liquid form is available. continuously for all living beings in fact the earth looks blue in color from outer space because about 2/3 of its surface surface discovered with water that is why it is often referred to as the blue planet satellite other than the stars and the planet you can also see the moon in the sky the moon is a satellite of the earth the word satellite is derived from the latin word satellites meaning a companion or an attendant satellites are small heavenly body which revolve around the planet as the planet revolve around the sun their satellites also accompany them in their revolution like planets satellites also do not have heat or light of their own they shine by reflecting the light from the sun mercury and venus do not have any satellites earth satellites the moon our earth has only one satellite the moon the diameter of moon is about 1/4 of the earth's diameter why does it then appear as big as the sun this is because it is closer to the us than the sun it is situated at a distance of about 384400 km from the earth The moon has no light of its own. What we see as moonlight is actually the sunlight reflected by the moon. This light reaches us in about 1.25 second. The moon appears in the sky in different shape. These are called phases of the moon. When the moon looks like a full disk, it is called full moon or purnima. When the side of a moon facing us does not receive sunlight we cannot see the moon this is known as the new moon or amavasya the moon makes one revolution around the earth in 27 days and 8 hours this time period is almost the same as the time it takes to complete one rotation about 
its axis as a result the same side of moon is always facing towards us we are not able to see the other side of the moon from the earth the moon's surface is made up of rocks and there is no soil the mountain peaks plains and craters make the surface extremely rugged as the result the reflection of the sunlight from every part of the moon surface is not uniform that is why if we look at the moon we can see some dark spot on its surface you can see phases of the moon from the following figure there is no air or water on the moon since the moon has no atmosphere days are very hot while nights are extremely cold scientists have se sent many spacecrafts to the moon to gather more information about it can you name the latest one sent by india so students thank you and